Should Texans be allowed to chain up their dog? Animal rights groups say no, and they're trying to convince state lawmakers to make a change. KXAN's political reporter Phil Prazen is here with an update on this one. Well, Robert, a group called the Texas Humane Legislation Network has been trying to change the laws for years. This would ban all chains used around a pet. As a restraint, you'd have to use an actual collar or harness instead. Other requirements include longer restraints so pets can move around enough and ensuring they always have access to water. Last session this barely fell short but this year it could happen this year the adequate shelter bill is moving through the legislature earlier and faster today 12 year old Bella Bergen volunteered for the network with her mom she made gift packets for lawmakers mostly lawmakers to say thank you this young lady helped pass a similar measure in the city of similar measure in the city of Round Rock last year she's hoping to make a change across this sometimes it's just words in one ear and out the other um, with adult to adult but I think from my point of view, it makes a big difference when you bring a young person in who shares the same views as this adult, um, um, same views in, and talk to her, and talk gives them a fresh perspective, and it shows that people really do care. It's not just these adults. The bill also scraps a mandatory 24-hour waiting period. Right now, under Texas law, if a police officer comes across an animal chained up illegally, the owner gets 24 hours to correct the situation. Bella Bergen and the Texas Humane Legislation Humane Legislation to get rid of that, so get rid of that, can issue a citation right at that time. So how did this end last year? Well, so it takes a long time. It's a lengthy process for a bill, for an idea to become reality. There are a lot of reality. There are a lot of hoops to jump through. Um, you have to be on the committee, you know, the floor of the House and the Senate, then another in the Senate, then another, then uh, uh, finally make it all the way to the governor's desk. And there are deadlines for each of those steps. And so a small group of conservative lawmakers kind of bottlenecked that bill, and it did not uh, pass a key hurdle in the last days of the legislative session uh, two years ago. Their beef with the bill is, you know, this is a thing that the government should not come in and tell you how to, um, you know, uh, chain up your dog and where, where uh, they should be chained up. It's just a government overreach and government opinion, but opinion process is uh, starting a lot faster this time, so it has a lot better chance of making uh, a new law. We shall see. Phil Prazen, thanks.